Hello there, and welcome to my channel. This is Nomi One Plays, and thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to hit like, subscribe, and that bell icon to be notified of when I upload. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. So today we're starting a new series called The Sims 4, and we're going to be playing with the Eco Life story. So this is my Sim, who I've created off screen. Her name is Flora Hibiscus. She is an eco innovator which means that she can also collect and find red collectibles more often. And if we just click here, this is her here. The sim wants to build a better and greater community. She is a green fiend. The sim is happiest when living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. She loves being outdoors and she is a fanatic for recycling. Now I've given her a few styles. This is her everyday wear, her formal, her athletic, her sleep, party, her swimwear, her summer wear, and her cold weather wear. So let's, and she's also a young adult. So let's take her into the world. And this is the, this is who she's going to be. And then we'll find her a place to live. Hmm, spring, summer, fall, or winter. I always seem to have my story start off here, but I'm going to make, even though she's not fully dressed this way, but I'm kind of going to make this a little bit of a rates to riches. So let's have her living in fall. So it's getting closer to those colder months. These are the worlds that we have at the moment. Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Newcrest, Magnolia Promenade, Winderberg, Sen Ruoshuno, Forgotten Hollow, Evergreen Harbour, Brychester, Glimmer, Glimmerbrook, Sulani, Strangerville, De Del Sol Valley, and Brindleton Bay. We're going to be playing in Evergreen Harbour. This is the eco world. And here we have it. So let's just have a look at this map. So this is an occupied house here. We have two units available. We have a residential, which has the lot has some traits, so eco lot and a natural well, a community lot, a house that's already um, occupied. <laughs> this is the community area by the looks of it, as well as another household, another community lot. This is shipping views. So this is the cheapest house house here. Reduce recycle and off the grid. Port Promise. What? <clears throat> sorry. What was once a bustling trade port now holds a number of homes and businesses that pay homage to their industrial roots and aim and aim to, as the local expression goes, keep evergreen cookie. While this actual port may no longer be running, the promise of something better remains. So as you can see, this world is a bit of a mess. It has a bit of pollution. Obviously somebody rich and fancy lives here. A couple more apartments, a, res uh, a non-residential lot, so this looks like a park and something else. And another house that we can live at. Now I'm thinking now, unfortunately, oh, Grimm's Quarry. When prospector Arnold Grimm's founded his famous rock quarry in Evergreen Harbour, he could hardly have predicted the little suburb that would spring up around it decades later. Today, a cozy set of homes, apartments, and spaces for community use sits in the shadow of the walls of striking white stone. Okay. This one is the cheapest and the ugliest looking. These are the apartments. So weekly rent is 500, deposit of 750. 
and furnished is seven grand we're starting off with 20 grand this one's a little bit higher up i don't think i want to live there now there was another unit here this is much more expensive so this is more your high end um seventeen thousand eighteen thousand and off the grid eco lot natural well hmm i'm not too sure where i want her to live you know what let's put her here in the port i know it's not exactly the Forest house, but unfurnished or furnished? Let's go with furnish, and then that means it's just a thousand dollars remaining. And here we are. So we're off the grid, we have no electricity. Your neighborhood's eco footprint is industrial. Learn more in the eco, eco footprint lesson. Oh, but no. Oh dear, she's already uh... tense. Let's just put her on hold for a moment. An unnatural environment from green fiend being on an industrial street. Oh dear. So until we move from this location, she is going to be feeling very, very tense. Ugh, the air feels so gross and the land feels so unnatural. Why? Why can't this green... This neighborhood be a bit more green? Okay. Alrighty. And this is her home. So she has a little bedroom here with an ensuite with a back door. And I honestly have not played this for such a long time that I have forgotten the keys to put up the walls. Oh dear. Oh, not already. What? Oh god, she's put herself on fire. Oh no. Oh, this is ridiculous. Page up and page down. So we're going to get her to go use the toilet and take a tepid shower because she has no electricity. And then we're going to go and have a look around the world and maybe introduce ourselves to some people so she really is not happy but she isn't feeling energized she's sore from all the chores grungy feeling low from and from being like burnt to a crisp essentially okay let's go here Hey neighbor, do you want to learn how you can make a difference? If you've got a minute, I'd love to chat with you about how your vote can help make this neighborhood more green. Um, is that this guy or is he over at our house? Oh, he's over at our house. So let's go learn about that. Welcome to Evergreen Harbour. My name's Knox. And not to toot my own horn, but people regard me as a bit of an eco-master around these parts. And I utterly love talking about living the eco lifestyle. Did you know that you can vote on neighbourhood action plans? They're called NAPs for short. If you want to help out, help get our neighbourhood to a better eco footprint, there are a lot of great options you can help me in supporting. Do it for the trees, green initiative, eco-friendly appliances, clean energy production. 
Voting is easy. You can vote to either a public voting board or even at your own mailbox. No excuses to dodge voting. Just make sure you have enough influence points. I've given you a few to get you started. Voting ends Monday at 6pm. Check the Symbology panel Y by pressing Y for more info. Thanks for the info. Show me our neighborhood voting board. And that's where we were heading. We'll go back over to her and she's taking another shower. Because she's because we're off the grid, it's not gonna be the greatest shower. Um, excuse me, I wasn't finished like talking to you. Um, call over, hello. Come back. Hello? Go now. Talk about the sunny weather. Let's just get to know him. Talk about eco lifestyle. I think that was another person we could have introduced ourselves to. Oh, Oakland Snarba. From being dares. Learn about voting green. Or Bounda. Pafuni do. Sashuna. Discuss interests. Arts about career. And we are going to... Ooh, what are we going to do? Get to know. So this will get our social up. And also help us acquire Hello, charisma skills. And we have a we just acquaintances, neither a friend nor a foe. And spend time together will end up creating sentiments. Oh, okay, thanks for the info, that's what that one was. That was the, uh, teach me more about the voting. Well, we might just say... Um, send home. Go away, please. So, I feel like we're going to constantly be having a shower until... Hey, ya champ! I'm your new neighbor! Best. So you like money, right? Let's talk. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about how things work around here. Learn about voting for profit before she sets herself on fire again. She's an entrepreneur. Oops, sorry, I hit the... So let's have a friendly introduction. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the ear, champ. Best Sterling, at your service, and let's just say I'm a bit of an entrepreneur when it comes to business dealings. Do you want to make some quick money fast? Of course you do. And do you know I'm your go-to sim? So let's get... <clears throat> so let's go get this bread. Sorry about that. The more we get into dealing with some serious simoleons here, the more we'll need to start voting on neighbourhood action plans. Do you know about those? There are some prime initiatives for us money makers to vote for. Modern development, tech support, promote creative arts, but don't get caught. But don't get caught and and a napping on your right to vote. Get it? I've given you a few influence points from my personal stash to get you started. You can vote at either the public voting board or even at your mailbox. Voting ends Monday at 6 p.m. Check the Somalian panel. Press Y for more info. Awesome! Thanks for the info. Um, let's get to know. Let's let's chat about the property values. Oh, it's about a career. I am not going to invest my limited amount of money. Let's tell a joke about monkeys. And I would like to get to know her a bit more. Uh, goodbye. Where is get to know? Or is she in a mood where she doesn't want to? 
Okay, now, let's go over here, check the latest gossip. Oh dear, this world. Hey look, it's Santa Claus? If at first you don't succeed, invest in funding projects across the city to help develop our community. Let's have a vote on the Neighbourhood Action Plan. Okay, no Neighbourhood Action Plans have been put into action yet. Now let's get voting. So we have a few options. What do we want to vote for? So for two points I'm guessing, we have the luxury of living in a world that provides us with everything we need. We just need to learn how to harness that energy. With a clean energy nap in place, members of the community will be rewarded with influence of owning functional clean energy producing objects like solar panels, wind turbines and dew collectors. Modern development in Port Promise. Feeling down about the state of our fair Port Promise? Vote on additional funding for development projects to help this area live up to its name. By putting in hard work and funding, mainly funding, together we can work on some much needed upgrades to the area. Don't be put off by the increase in your weekly bills to help pay for these improvements. We're pushing to ensure residents' career pay, care, yeah, career pay goes up to help offset the added costs. Make this promise to Port Promise, won't you? How conserv conservation. Energy isn't free. So what can we do on our part to help conserve? The Power Conservation Action Plan helps to answer the difficult questions. Step 1. Limit your household's overall consumption of power by avoiding overuse of electronics. Step 2. Sacrifice one teensy weensy day per week without power. The Land Grab Power Company even agreed to give a discount on utility bills for this. Value to conserve a satisfactory amount of power for your household size, as defined by the Board of, of NAP, will result in a daily fine. Please thoroughly enjoy your day. For three points, rough housing encouraged. Have you ever heard another Sims opinion and thought, I should be polite about, about, I should be polite, but I really think this conversation would be better if I asserted my stance. Refuse to be to back down and ultimately engage in a fallout neighborly brawl. We're with you. Sometimes we believe there is such a thing as being too polite. We should band together to make it this world better, one fight cloud at a time. A world where we can speak our minds without any hurt feelings or bruised egos. Vote for the roughhousing encouraged nap, and you can gain influence by using mean interactions on other sims. If that's the kind of sim you want to be. So sufficient for three points. Why keep feeding the corporated the corporate beast and continue spinning on these degrading hamster wheels of consumerist shame? We can rise up and maintain a perfectly good community ourselves. We can live in a community where things like fishing, gunning and handiness are we Reward with increased influence as well as a sense of accomplishment. For six points, we've got tech support. Have you grown too comfortable with things just the way they are? Don't be caught napping in our community's technology progress. Work with programming, rocket science, or other methods. We can continue to make our world a better place through technology and boosting our influence while doing it. As an added bonus, Sims working in tech related career fields such as astronauts, tech gurus, scientists, freelance, programmers and civil designers will also have increased pay if this initiative gets voted in. We wear bags. Our community values reducing and recycling. But has anyone else noticed that the paper bags are starting to pile up? We wouldn't dare throw those away. They could come to good use someday. Don't you think every last one of those 8,346 neatly folded pieces of untaped potential have finally earned their time to shine with the we wear bags action plan we can proudly wear our bags as a mark of our eco lifestyle 
or we can add a neighborhood action plan for this week's voting period. Now, one vote equals 10 influence points. We have 20. So, hmm. I am thinking clean energy production would be a good way to go. That way we can start having electricity, start having better showers. I think that might work. Let's just go with the one. Yay, we've completed a milestone. Okay. Let's let's just um friendly introduction. Have a chat with a few people. Uh, so, so. <laughs> I do wonder though what they're talking about. Oh, this put this seems hungry. Alrighty, let's head on head on, on home. Um, we are going to clean the floor, and we are going to grill. Not that we have a lot of money. I guess Frank's some beans. And I think we might purchase some seeds. Ooh, thirty-five dollars though. Fine, let's order that. So, okay. Oh, come on. Flora, extinguish yourself, please. And go here, get out of the flames. Wow. Wow, just, wow. Well, Flora, no, you don't get to have a shower. Fine, have a shower. Apparently, that's all she wants to do is burn herself and have a, have a shower. Now, we are going to use the toilet and we're going to take another type of shower. And we're going to take another one because I hate it being down this low. And one more shower should do. And then we're going to pay job. And maybe grill some fruit? Maybe that might be safest? Maybe? Come on, don't burn yourself, Flora. Oh, come on, Flora. Well, we got something. Oh my gosh. This Sam has the worst luck. Yeah, I know you saw. You've been on fire like three times today. Ugh, and she's so angry. She's shouting forbidden words. Right, we don't even have a sink in this place. Well, we do, but let's take a shower and then we're going to get her to sleep. Uh, uh. 
Man, she is hard work. And there she is, off to sleep, dreaming about fires most likely. Okay, let's spend the better day of the morning showering. Flora should start thinking about further education. Take a look at this universe at these universities below. I'm not gonna send her to university. Nope, sorry. Okay, we need to get this girl having some fun before she burns herself down again. Where is she and what is the problem? Oh, we had a letterbox, where is it? Can we... Well. Okay, we need to go and have some fun. So let us visit the bar. Okay. Well, let's watch the current channel. Okay, let's change the channel to something a bit more entertaining. Like the Kids Network. <sighs> Okay, so she can sit here for a little bit. Maybe, uh, do an impression. So she can watch TV and socialize at the same time. Oh, Oh, yes, we we love talking about cheese by the sounds of it. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's have a look at this place. Is there a second floor? There is a second floor. We can wash our hands continuously. And I think that is enough of that. Her energy is low. We're going to use this toilet here. And make sure to wash our hands. Let's brush our teeth to make ourselves feel a bit better. Okay. Oh, it's a celebrity, of course. Okay, what else can we travel to in this world? Is there anything we can do on this lot? Let's have a look on community. Okay, this looks like it's a recycling place. 
So, what would we like to do? We could do a marketplace. A community marketplace where crafters and makers can sell their wares and shoppers can browse them. A community space for making of all kinds where neighbours can gather to craft and recycle goods or dabble in activities like candle making, juice fizzing, fabricate or painting. Or a community garden looking for a place to practice growing and cultivating. The community garden is the perfect place for neighbours to paint together. Plant together, sorry. I'm going to probably not do a community garden, only because I'll be able to do that on my own property. But what if let's create a maker space? Okay. Let's have a look at this world. So that's all this building is. Looks like it was supposed to be something at some point, but it didn't quite. What can we recycle from our inventory? Okay, I don't want to do that. I want to plant those. And. Friendly introduction. Now. Let's sort out recyclables. And did we get any recyclables? Yes, we did. So then I think we come over to here, recycle from our inventory, this. Ooh. Oh, checking on the smog. And we are also going to recycle all of these. BC Lizarac! Yes! Barilla! You received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. However, the recycler or the house hover over the recycler or the household funds to see how much you have. Bits and pieces are used to craft items. Stay right there, Flora. Um Used to craft items using the fabricator and to fuel water and power utility production objects. Recycling things found in the dumpster is a good way to get more bits and pieces. Now, I did want to see if this works. Which it does. Ha ha! There we go. Hey, and we got 175 something or other. Hmm. Okay, let's get her to return home. And we're just going to speed up time as she does this. And let's just follow her. Well, everybody, we're just going to leave it here for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this content, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and that bell icon. And I will see you all very soon. May the force be with you. Goodbye.